Okay, the name of this case is adrenal atrophy. This is an adrenal gland. The normal adrenal gland only weighs about 5 grams. And usually when you cut through them, whether they're fixed or not, the cortex is very, very brightly yellow, and it is very well demarcated from the more central brownish uh, medullary substance. Well, in this particular adrenal, if you look carefully, not only is the uh, cortex not yellow, or I'm sorry, that's a gross characteristic. It is not one millimeter, but it's only a few glands thick. So this is far less than one millimeter. And as you know, towards the periphery, you have the glomerulosa. Towards the middle of the cortex, you'll get these linear fascicles that look uh, sort of cord-like and linear. And then you get kind of a glomeruloid pattern then, there, then deepest to the medulla, called the uh, reticularis. So it's GFR, just like they sit on top of the kidney where you have a glomerular filtration rate. You have GFR, glomerulosa fasciculata reticularis. And this is only about a millimeter thick, usually, and it's only, uh, the whole gland only weighs about five grams. And then the underlying medulla is usually soft and brown. Well, there's not much medulla here, but what you do see is a lot of smooth muscle because the medulla has uh, very, very um, uh, big, big veins as well, and some of these are uh, surrounded by smooth muscle to have an immediate squishing effect to pump out those uh, uh, adrenaline hormones whenever you need them quickly. This is adrenal atrophy. Uh, I guess it could also be called hypoplasia because there is a reduction in the number of cells. So this would be cortical hyperplasia. Usually when they talk about atrophy in the, in the adrenals, they're talking about the cortex rather than the medulla. And um, the reason why the cortex is bright yellow grossly is because the cells making the steroid hormones, whether you're in the G part, the F part, or the R part, take up a lot of cholesterol, which is a fat, and as you know, fat is yellow. The medulla is usually very brownish red because it's very, very vascular. Thank you very much. Now let's talk about a couple of reasons, or actually the, the overwhelmingly most common reason why an adrenal cortex would be uh, atrophic. Well, the most overwhelmingly common reason is that the patient is on exogenous steroids and therefore it's feeding back to the uh, pituitary to shut off the production of ACTH by a normal physiologic negative feedback system. Now I'll say thank you very much.